Today the topic is house plants and how to keep them healthy with watering when it's appropriate to water them and how much to water them. And um, here is what we're going to be reviewing. It uh, measures moisture, pH, and light. There's a switch down there. You, you uh, toggle between those three items. See that? So we're going to take a look at my house plants. I have house plants in three areas of my house. Um, some up here in my studio. And that, that one's not doing well. I'm really curious about the levels on that one. Um, and then some on the ledge by my treadmill. And then some upstairs in the dining room. So we're going to go take a look at them first. Since we're starting out in my studio, we're going to take a look at the plants down here in the studio. So this one, I've upgraded the pot a few times to this rather large pot. Um, they all started out with small pots. Most of these plants uh, were a gift to our family at my mom's funeral, which was very nice. I want to keep them alive in her memory. Um, so um, what's interesting is I hadn't had houseplants in many years. I had them when I was a young adult, going to school and that. Um, I had them in my room and liked the energy they gave me and whatnot. But that just sort of fell off the map when we had kids and we had other responsibilities. But it's kind of nice to have plants again. Um, this one, it started out looking almost like that one with the leaves. And I, I have no idea what type of plants these are. But lately, this is just shriveled looking, no matter if I water it once a week or twice a week, um, I want to see what's going on using this meter. Um, we'll get to that shortly. Okay, here are the plants by my treadmill. All right, this one actually uh, was from my son's room. He wasn't uh, watering them regularly and, and agreed that I could take over watering duties for that. So I repotted it into a, a much larger um, pot and one of the stalks died the leaves fell off of it but this one uh, keeps regrowing that new set of leaves on top can you see that um, so it's doing okay um, these are doing well all right we're going to take a look upstairs next and last but not least these are up in our dining room okay these are funeral plants doing very well I, I think I mean um, I've upgraded the pot on both this one is different we were at a doctor's appointment and doctor had a very nice jade plant in the window it looks like a tree I commented on it and basically her reply was oh the previous doctor who retired from this office left it because it would be too difficult to move it had all kinds of um, kind of wooden parts with string holding the different uh, parts of it upright and I could see what she meant and she just um, reached down and grabbed these leaves and um, gave it to me she said yeah I, I give them away if people ask and there are some leaves that have fallen so I looked it up online and um, it says to just you know lay the leaves on some nice soil and water it and it can take root and actually I think it has because if I try to lift this I can't move it so I think it is growing which is nice and obviously they haven't dried out they look fine so maybe one day we'll have a, a jade plant or tree or whatever they call it All right, we're ready to test our first plant. And I'm gonna start with the moist position. I think that one's doing okay. This is Tuesday and I 
watered these plants on last Friday. So it's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days ago. So I think we're doing okay five days later. I'm going to switch it to light. However, I need to face it toward the light source and it's getting a very low reading. We are in Wisconsin in the winter time and we have just a little casement window. So it's not getting a lot of light and certainly no direct sunlight. Next up is pH. getting a low reading or more alkaline reading alkaline is on the left so it's between 8 and 7 so maybe 7.5 it goes in reverse 8 all the way through 3.5 on the acid end Let's try the next one, resetting to moist. That one is in the wet zone, so that's doing well. And as you can see, it's it's a healthy plant. So light. Well, we're dealing with the same lighting situation, so it's, it's low. pH doing a little better, it's about a seven. It does pick up some dirt, so you have to wipe that off so you don't get your house all dirty. Now we're down on the windowsill near my treadmill. I reset the meter to moist. We're going to test the first one here. It's a little less than halfway. That's okay. Uh, we're going to do light, face it toward the window. It's doing a little bit better than the other room, but once again, this is indirect uh, sunlight in winter in Wisconsin. It's kind of dim compared to like a sunny summer day. It was way on the left side of the scale. pH pretty low, between eight and seven. All right. Back to the moist scale. That one's doing well. It's almost all the way to the right. Light, we're going to get the same reading as the other one. And pH, a little bit higher than this one. It's still on the, on the low end of the spectrum. Moist. That one's doing well, it's about halfway. Light, we're gonna have the same reading. And pH, pretty low again, just like the other one. Up in the dining room, we have these three plants. Let's start out with moist on this one. And it's way over to wet. Light, I'm gonna face the window. Pretty low, it is indirect light, dim, Wisconsin winter lighting. All right, pH. Uh, about a seven toward the alkaline side. Right. Moving on. Back 
to moist. All right, that's about a, a three. It's kind of getting into the dry range. Light will be about the same. Uh, pH, that one's between a seven and an eight. moist between about a five and a six it's kind of in that middle range just a hair toward the wet side let's get past light that's gonna be the same and pH between seven and eight Here's a quick spreadsheet I did in Excel with the results. And I have a, a row at the bottom with the average results. I did some online research about pH levels in house plants and I found this website, indoorgardennote.com, that has a nice uh, blog post about that. So from what I read on that website, uh, it, it seems that my plants are generally in this range, which means the soil is slightly alkaline. So I don't think I have a major problem with any of my plants. Here's a quick demonstration of the light sensor with a flashlight. I'm doing it at different angles to kind of simulate sunlight being at different angles. Sun's coming up, sun's the highest, sun is setting. Yep. It works. Here we are the next day down by the treadmill and it's a bit of a sunnier day and here's what's interesting to me. I set it back on the light setting and now we are getting a nice reading uh, the a little between 200 and 500 for the light so it's no longer registering way down by dark uh, I think that was maybe an overcast day that I did the first footage but that might explain why these plants are doing quite well because they're getting a lot of sunlight all right and the instructions moving on to the testing liquid section Attention, the tester is not submarine. Only the probes can be inserted into liquid. That's good to know. Prepare the liquid sample in a glass or glass jar. Make sure that the probes are clean and dry. I just cleaned and dried them. Um, insert probes into the liquid. Insertion depth of probes should be between three centimeters and 15 centimeters. For better measurement accuracy, it is recommended to insert the probes into the liquid to the depth of about 15 centimeters, about three quarters of probe length, if the liquid is deep enough. Okay. And I intentionally went up to the kitchen and got a glass that is about three quarters of the length of the probes. So here we are. I have it set to moist. And let me take you up here so you can see it before I put it down. See the meter go up. Maxed out to the wet side. I would say that works very well. Let's go back. And even though they're still wet, it went down to the dry part. So that's very responsive, I would say. The light meter makes no sense for this test. Now the instructions at the very bottom say read the pH value on the bottom scale after 60 seconds. So I'm going to stick it in there. I set it over to pH. Okay. So 
So the pH on the bottom, where it has alkaline on the left and acid on the right, it's resting just around 6. And that's just for water. I have a gut feeling that the plant that is not doing well, which is plant number one, will do better by the treadmill on the windowsill, where we saw a pretty strong reading of sunlight midday today. So I'm going to relocate that right now. Thanks to the moisture, light, and pH meter, I realized that all of my plants are in a similar state and that leads me to think that relocating this plant to a different location in a sunnier spot will possibly improve its health. In summary, I'd have to say I think this meter is a very clever device that anyone who has houseplants should have. Uh, this is going to change the way I water my plants. I am planning to now, each time before I water my plants, take a moisture reading. Make a note of that. I might even have a logbook to track over time what the moisture reading is on the day that I do the watering. And, um, for example, one of them, this one over here, read a nine. I might not need to water that one this time. Tomorrow is my watering day on Friday. Other ones will most likely need the watering, but maybe I won't water them as much. That I'll have to figure out through playing with this meter. I may do before and after readings, you know, wait a day, measure again, see how that watering went. The light meter is useful and I'm already moving one of my plants that isn't doing well to a location with more light. I think that might help. The pH level, frankly, is new to me, but it's good to know that mine are in a moderate alkaline level, kind of like an average, I think. So that does not sound like I need to do anything at this time for the pH level. If this item interests you, as it interests me, I'll put a link to this item on Amazon for you in the description of this video. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.